Hello, my name is Lothar Masai Kozubek. I am Public Health Advocate at the European Public Health Alliance and I am now here with my colleague Chris who will put forward seven questions about the impact of TTIP on health. We are talking about international treaties and legal text. Therefore, it is important to have legal insurance that that will be definitely the case and public services will be out of the scope of TTIP. We have recently seen the joint statement of Mr. Froman and Commissioner Malmström, but the statement is not clear about the exclusion of public services, including healthcare services, from the TTIP. Therefore, it is vital that we have access to the negotiation text because that can prove, really, the real intention of negotiators and that could then give the necessary insurance for us, for European citizens, that our healthcare services will be well protected. Normal citizens and patients would feel immediately the negative impact of healthcare services included in free trade agreements via two ways. First, the quality of services. Free trade agreements could lead to a liberalization of healthcare services which could then lower the quality of the provided service. So then that would be an immediate uh, impact on the average citizen. Secondly, the price. Privatization aims to maximize profit gains and again, in order to realize higher profits, then services could be more expensive for citizens. ISDS can be the tool within the corporation to sue governments and to force them to privatize their healthcare system or to prevent them to reverse that decision if that was already made. Of course, ISDS cannot directly bind governments, it cannot have a direct legal obligation, but indirectly it can put a huge pressure on government because of the huge costs uh, every ISDS case requires. Let's just mention the recent Achmea vs Slovakia case, where the subject of an, that ISDS procedure was exactly the privatization of healthcare systems in Slovakia. And although in that case the Slovakian state won, it still prevented them to do normal actions because of the huge time and resources involved in that case. No. It is important to note that the regulation of professional qualifications, both in the US and in the EU, belongs to the member states' competence. However, including those regulations to the scope of the TTIP could lead an increased flow of healthcare workforces between the two continents, and it has a real danger. Look at the situation in Europe right now. There is already a huge inequality between the two sides of Europe. Doctors and nurses are leaving Eastern European countries, which threatens then the healthcare system sustainability in those countries. And we do not want to have our doctors and nurses leaving Europe and putting in danger the whole European healthcare system in every country. I am afraid so that uh, TTIP will have a major impact of the price of human medicines. TTIP have, has the potential to extend the patent of certain human medicines, which would mean then the cheaper medicines, the so-called generics, will be not available during the extended patent time, which will then make simply the human medicines more expensive for ordinary citizens.